weather preparedness week and as Mark mentioned that next drill is at 735. Here's some tips for you. Make a safety plan with your family. Know where you're going to go. If tornado warnings are issued, have a severe weather safety kit with batteries, extra food, water and a way to know how long the warnings are in effect for your neighborhood. And then this is really a great term put out by the National Weather Service. Ready, set, go. Ready, know the outlook, know the forecast going forward for the next few days. Set, that's when watches are issued. Just know that once a watch is issued, there could be the potential for some warnings. And then once the warnings are issued, that's when you go to your safe place. Outside right now, we have hazy sunshine out there, although the clouds unfortunately are going to start to win out over the course of the next few hours across the area. But temperature is not bad at all. In fact, we're above normal already in India at 55, 56 right now is the current temperature in Bloomington. Lafayette, you're sitting at 49 degrees. So the temperature map across the region is going to kind of fluctuate over the course of the next few days. We'll get a push of warm air followed by a push of the cold air. So we're not bad right now in the 50s, but this colder air is set to arrive overnight tonight as a cold front starts to make its way through the area. And you can already see as this cold front's pushing in, there is a few showers or are a few showers showing up on Storm Team 6 radar here. As this comes through, you cannot rule out maybe the chance of an isolated sprinkle developing as the clouds start to build, but you notice how light and how spotty it is. So most of us remain completely dry. If you do see one of these showers, it's going to be very light. It's really not going to impact any evening plans. If you're out for a run, there may be a few raindrops and that should be just about it. I mentioned the cold air both tomorrow and Thursday morning. Temperatures are going to be down in the mid 20s, 27 tomorrow morning, Thursday. We're looking at a temperature to start the day at 26 degrees tomorrow with the sunshine. We warm up to 43 degrees, so it's well below normal. But with this sun being stronger this time of year, it's not all that bad as we head into Thursday. We're mostly sunny back up to 54 degrees Friday. We're up to 68 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. And then I mentioned that active period of weather Saturday 65 degrees, but there could be some numerous showers and a few thunderstorms possible on Saturday. We get a little bit of a break on Sunday at 59 degrees and then the next storm system starts to affect us on Monday with more showers and a high temperature of 64 and looking at the long term data it looks like potentially three storm systems could affect us starting Saturday another one Monday and then another one by the middle half of next week there'll be all rain temperatures well above freezing so you don't have to worry about any snow and then just depending on how the conditions set up a we'll lot to keep an eye on the potential maybe for some severe weather but again that's not till the weekend and beyond let's